These are the parts for the breathing apparatus used for the athlete. All right, you have these two separate pieces. This plastic part is going to insert on this white tube. You want to make sure that you pull the plastic part all the way up to the lip just to create a tight bond, just like that. Right here, this piece right here. Then you have this little white piece that inserts into this piece right here. You want to make sure that it's facing this way. Screw that in right here. Just like that. And then this little piece is going to face the same way as the previous piece. And then this white piece attaches onto the other end. On the bottom, attaches the saliva catcher. Just like that. And on the front end of the machine, a little piece right here. That's where the mouth tube attaches. Pinch that. And that's how you assemble the breathing part. gas calibration. First thing you want to do is enter the temperature that reads on the monitor right here. So we have 23 degrees and the humidity. Change it to what it says and then the barometer pressure. And then you hit OK. And then turn the gas on, quarter turn, counterclockwise. And then OK. And then you want to make sure you turn the gas all the way off tightly, turning it clockwise. Save it. All right, we're going to start with the flow meter calibration. You want to make sure the long end of this disc goes into the chamber and you want to listen for two clicks. There's two. <laughs> You're going to connect this to the disc to, to catch the condensation that comes from the athlete. You want to connect the tube to the condensation catcher all the way up to the line. All right, you connect the tube to the clear end and the mouthpiece side into the flow meter calibration. Then you want to click on flow meter, enter the correct degrees, measurements, sample, and then you want to do five pumps. You want to make sure you stand to the side using one arm only. After five pumps, you're going to try and get your five measures. And there you have it. And then you want to make sure the difference is good and hit save. Okay, so we before we start testing the athlete, you want to set them up in the system first. So to do that, you have to click here on VO2 metabolic testing. And here it shows basically the information for the patient. So last name, first name, age, their height in inches, and their weight, and then of course their sex, and then 
um, you refer back to this over here to fill out the temperature, the pressure, and the other information that they provide over here. And when you're done here, you want to click OK. And here's where you set up your protocol. So depending on what the instructor wants, um, you're going to set up your protocol here. Here you have the speed, the grade of the treadmill, and the duration of the stages. When you're done setting it up, just press OK and it will start the test. All right, this is the back of the headpiece right here. Uh, this part right here connects to the front. Right here, this little holes wrap around that little notch. So this is how it's going to sit on your athlete. Here's the breathing apparatus. Connects right here in the middle. Mouthpiece faces in. Um, when you insert it to the Nemotech, the tube connects on the clear side of the mouthpiece and connects straight into the Nemotech. Right here you have your heart rate monitor. This goes across uh, the xiphoid process on your athlete. And then you have your nose clip as well. Okay, once you get all the pieces for the mouthpiece um, taken apart, you want to put them all in here. You're going to first rinse it all, so you put it under the water, and as you get the water on, just take everything and give it a rinse. Usually you're going to wear gloves because it's all slobbery and stuff, so make sure you have those on. Just rinse everything out. This piece you don't need to wash again, you just rinse it once. Once you uh, rinsed everything out, you're going to drain this out and then you're going to start filling that up again with water. You take one and a half cups of this bleach here and you pour it in. And then there's a blue dotted line. There's a blue dotted line on this container, so once you reach that blue dotted line, you want to shut the water off. You're going to rub all this stuff down while it's in the bleach water, and you're going to let it sit for three minutes. And once you let it sit in the bleach water for three minutes, you're going to drain everything out, and you're going to turn the water back on, and you're just going to rinse everything off once. And once you get it rinsed off, you can put it back into the pail here to dry.